Assalamu alaikum welcome to another tutorial of Yuki Textions. Before starting a tutorial if you are not a subscriber of this channel please subscribe this channel also like our Facebook page which is Yuki Textions tutorial. Thank you. So today's topic is foreground service. In previous tutorial we discussed about services and we create a service that start when the button is clicked and stop when the service button is clicked. In this service the service can be closed when user close the application. But today we will create a service that will stop when we want to stop it or when the service job is done. And it will not close when the application is closed. It is it will run an independent thread. So let's create a service that's known as foreground. Foreground service. So we have to extend the service. The service class we have to extend it. The major points we will discuss in the foreground service are noted as below. So the points that will cover today's tutorial are creating notification channel. I will discuss what is notification channel later. Then we will create and implement methods on start command. Then we will create or uh, use service method on bind. Without on bind we cannot create the program service. Then we will add our program service in many piece technically. In many piece. We will use many piece to just write the service or call the service. And then we will implement it. So these are the some points that will be covered in this topic. So let's create the service. This is the method on bind that implements whenever service is called. So then create a notification ID which is of string type. What is notification channel and where is creating notification ID? So let's create first notification ID and then I will tell you what is notification channel. Let's give the name to the ID. Let's say the project name is service android. So let's name it as services in Android, right? So our notification channel name is services in Android. Then we will create here the notification channel name that will be for from services or for from services. method that will says create notification channel. So what is notification channel? Notification channel is a simple channel that so what is notification channel? Notification channel are the simple channel that groups are notification. A developer can create a notification channel because it, if we want to group our notification such as we are creating an application that have multiple but we want to group them in one so we create a notification channel. So let's create it. Notification channel. And then now what we will do we will create here an object of notification channel. And now we will pass here some string the ID, the channel name, and the notification importance. What's the importance of notification? So let's 
day we have created here a notification channel ID then we will present here the channel name uh, which is this and give here the notification manager and tell the notification manager that this is the important task to be done so the importance is high Notification channel are introduced in Android for you. So we have to uh, tell that if the builder dot os dot version greater than equals to 26, then we have to uh, use this function, right? So now this will be moved into this, and the error will be. Right. So now let's create notification manager here by giving notification manager equals to get system services. Uh, let me remove this tag here and close the bracket here, and then we'll call it class dot class, and then we'll simply manager call the manager. Now let's override this method which is on start command. I have to show you that the service can run by some types. The service can be start sticky or non sticky. Start sticky means the service will not stop unless we stop it. The start not sticky means it will self stop when the function or the job is done. And similar with the uh, re-delivery intent, it's also same as similar to the start sticky. We are creating a service that will not stop until we stop it. So, right? So what we are using here is start sticky. Now then what we will do here, we will uh, use the method which we have created here, notification channel. Right? So creating the notification channel, let's create the notification. So first we have to use the intent. Then we will create here the pending intent. Equals to equals to pending intent. So get activity. So we will pass here the context of this uh, activity, and then give the request code, and then provide the intent. First of all, we will see here the context, which is this context. Then we will provide here the uh, request code, it's end. Then we will provide here the string, which is we created here. And then we will add the flag, which I don't want to create any flag, so I will return here. The so we surround it to the new string array. After this, we have to create here the Sorry, notification compact. Dot dot builder. And then we will see here the context. Then if there is a channel ID, so we will provide it to channel ID. So then what we will do? Uh, get here the error and say. So it's giving the error because we have uh, not created the build here. So we create the build, but we have to uh, assign some values to the notification uh, as set text context context you can text change. Have to the, so 
this is the title right let me remove this text to the title and then we will provide here the text also the description what it is doing so set content text the text will be running foreground service then we will see here the icon set small icon r dot drawable dot logo so this is the go of my channel and then set the content content so the content inventory intent will be pending intent right so that's it our notification channel is created with notification now what we have to do we will just uh start the notification by giving here start right so we have created here the notification by giving content title text small icon content uh intent which is pending intent and then we have to create here simple method start foreground give here the id and then we will just give it the notification so we have created here a method notification channel now what is the next step we have to create on bind which is on bind is already uh, bind if uh, any of the activity want to bind this service it can be bind through using i binder so let's say i binder will return this binder if any application wants to or any activity want want to bind this service this is the important function of a service to call on bind while using any of the service. then we have to use many file why you want to use many file because we have to uh, add the permission of foreground service also use the service as we use here the media service so let's create here the permission first we type here user permission and then simply write foreground service so it will uh, give you here the permission then what we have to do now we just create here the service that will name as uh, foreground service and start another which will say code true or another which will be enabled right what these flags do if any of the application want to use our service it can be used so we say exported true and enabled and no application have right to access this service so let's uh, give it true or false whatever you want to give it it's a uh, false by default you can or simply you can avoid it so after using this manifest now let's see what is the next step now the implementation what is the implementation simple implementation is we uh, use here the method on destroy when the service is destroyed or closed so let's create another activity or another class it start for ground service and then we extend here the f, f compact activity and then we have to override the method on create bundle and then then send set the content to which is our main activity content r dot layout dot so we are using the main activity UI which is simple start service and stop service now let uh, put many text xml and now just call the activity we are creating here the activity which is start foreground service so we have to initialize it in many text xml now what we have to do in foreground service we just want to uh, sorry in many uh, in start foreground service we just want to start the or stop the service start or stop the service so just use this find view by id r dot i r dot i dot start start service first and then and so dot set on click listener and then on click listener simple we will read here the intent or we can use here if built dot with dot 
version dot int as decay greater than equal to 26 then we have to just write context complex to start foreground service new instance then we will pass the class context here and then foreground service dot class and here we want to give here the context of this class also if the SDK version is greater than or equal to 26 it will run this command as it will run start service the right? start service and service we have to create it uh, just copy here the and pass Now what we have to do, we have to also find how to stop the service. It's simple. Find it by id r dot id dot stop service dot set on click listener on click listener and then just stop service just uh, give the new intent and uh, start our give here the context of the class this and service name and that's it so we have if you want to stop the service we will stop the service here. so what is the job of the uh, That's why I just missed the terminator, terminator sign here. That's why the red line was to print. Was to just pass. After creating the intent, we have to intent the set action here equals to stop service and then foreground service. So after setting the action, we have to go to the foreground service here and then we will say if intent dot get action get action dot to stop service then just stop the service you have to give the correct uh, action name because if the correct action name is uh, incorrect it will not stop the service right so we will say stop foreground and say true here stop cell so it will stop the service what stop service will do it will uh, clear the notification from the top and stop the service so i forgot here to add if the get action is not equal to null then uh, use this intent we run the application and so the service started here The service is running on the top here, so we have to stop it. Right? So what we will click, we will click here stop service and the notification is just removed. Let me uh, show you once again.
now when we start the Stop service. Focus on this uh, icon. Then it will uh, just remove. Then click here. Stop service. Just leave service. Just remove. Drop it down. There is no notification of text. Right? So that's uh, so that's it. It's a simple tutorial of uh, starting a you know, foreground service, dropping a foreground service. Hope you will like this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up to this video. Also, share your feedback on comment section. Also, view our tutorials about service, background service, and I will create another tutorial of find service how to find. a service of from another application so stay connected with us stay healthy stay happy and stay blessed we will see you soon with another amazing tutorial inshallah allah hafiz